Hi there, let's continue with our Docker series and see how we could use Docker not only in production, but much better actually during development and integration testing. And for that, there's a great library out there called Test Containers, and it helps you a lot to, for example, set databases in a predefined state for your integration tests. Let's see what that means and how it works. All right, so I'm in a random Spring Boot project. That doesn't matter. There's only one test class I'm interested in. It's the test containers test class, has one method. And now I don't have any database installed on my machine, only Docker. But in this test here, I want to open up a connection to a MySQL database to an empty one. And for that, I need to get the test containers dependencies. You can actually search for test containers online and you'll find the homepage. And on the homepage, you'll find everything you need all the modules test containers works with, but I'm only interested in the database support. I already know what I need. So you can go to a page like mavenrepo.com and then click the package here. And here you'll see all the different packages, JDBC Postgres, which will allow you to open up Postgres, database containers, MySQL, Selenium, Kafka, all different types of things. I'm only interested in MySQL. I'll get the Gradle dependency, paste it in my project. And as you can see, I already added the uh, MySQL database connector to my project as well. And then back in here, Test Containers has great JUnit integration actually, because it supports rules. And a rule is, for example, a MySQL container, like so. Which means for every test now, not even for the test class, but for every test, create a new MySQL database through a Docker container. And the MySQL container has a couple of builders. You can say, well, create it with a username of, let's say, Marco, with a password of Bela. And that should hopefully open up a MySQL database. Now, we'll just write some plain Java code in here because later on in your test, you could do something like driver manager get connection. You ask the MySQL container, give me the JDBC URL. You ask the JDBC container, give me the username and also the password, even though you specified yourself. But like so, that should give you a connection. Right? Then you might want to wrap the whole thing. I'm going to try with resources block, throw the or catch the exception. And then we only want to print out connection is valid. That tells me, can I get a valid database connection in five seconds? And to make it a bit simpler to see what's going on in the console, we'll add these two lines here as well. Now, that's all you need. Remember, I have no database installed. Let's run it. Let's see what happens and how long this whole thing takes. And I get an exception that was very simple. The rule must be public, not private. Now it boots up again. You'll see a couple of things happening. It takes a couple of seconds, but you see already my SQL driver that looks like it tries to connect to the database. And then it should only take a second Right, the test is green because we didn't test anything because we just print out to the console. But here you can see our two lines, connection is valid, true. So I could get a connection to a complete MySQL database, which runs under JDBC MySQL localhost, the pod, test, without having had to install MySQL. And that is cool. All right, that was a first glimpse of what test containers can do for you. And over the next episodes, we're gonna build a real world build pipeline with test containers, Docker and Spring Boot and see how all these components work together. Let's get right after it.